DAZN is the world's first sport over-the-top streaming service. It's been going for uh, four years. It's, been, it's now live in uh, nine markets. We're in uh, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Japan, Italy, Spain, Brazil, US and Canada. Our goal is to be live in, in, in every country. Um, so we're expanding uh, very rapidly. We have 2,600 staff in all. Um, within the uh, over-the-top um, product um, area, we have um, about 170 um, people so far, and that's product management, uh, business analysis, um, product design, so we use experience design. Um, we have um, data analysis, machine learning, and technical program management. Initially, my roles had been in, in development uh, and then technical program management. Um, and certainly when I went to the BBC initially, it was um, more or less of technology management. But um, I, I had, this, had this idea for um, an internet-based um, um, catch-up TV service, uh, which I, I pushed off the ground and that became BBC iPlayer. So um, it, was, it was really uh, creating BBC iPlayer and, and getting um, that off the ground that um, moved me from more of a technology side to 100% um, product management, and that's what I've been doing since. After uh, iPlayer, I moved to Love Film, where uh, I created their um, SVOD streaming service, and after that we got acquired by Amazon, um, so my team um, built out the first um, over-the-top TV apps uh, for uh, Amazon Video, and after four years there, I came to design. The proudest product mode would be um, BBC iPlayer, and certainly I wouldn't be where I am today had I not uh, created um, iPlayer, because off the back of that there was Love Film, um, Amazon, and I guess what, what I'm doing uh, now. Within this month's Apple Keynote, Design was also featured in, in one of the um, best apps, and we've won numerous awards, so I, I continue to be delighted uh, with Design. The way we prioritise is very much data. Uh, we, we use data to actually both uh, look at what, what is the um, customer opportunity, where we have analytics to support there's a customer issue that, that needs uh, flagging. Uh, first of all, we, we prioritise fixing live issues uh, and bugs to reduce customer pain. Beyond that, uh, when we're talking about actually uh, features that are, that, are, that are on the roadmap, then very much look at uh, what's, what's the revenue which that will generate uh, over the next 12 months and what's the number of subscribers that will generate. In addition, we actually look at the amount of um, story points uh, attributed to, when I say story point, it's a loose term, but we generally talk about that as being half a developer mandate. If we're effectively taking the revenue and dividing that by the story points, we can get an idea of, of the likely return on the investment. In terms of how we come to the actual revenue figure, we use anything from um, our analytics, a lot of external data sources, which we use if we're doing a lot of partnership deals. How many subscribers uh, do they have? How many subscribers are we likely to uh, attract? We work um, heavily with sort of finance and strategy and business development to actually make sure our numbers are as accurate as, as we can make it. So we're, we're trying to make sure that uh, the roadmap which we have is, is as prioritized in, in the, the biggest amount, amount of return. After, uh, after four years at, at Amazon, certainly I would say it's, it's, it's left it, its, its mark on me. Our hiring process is heavily inspired from the uh, Amazon leadership principles, in, in particular the people's um, bias, bias for action. We are a very fast-moving uh, business and uh, certainly we need people with passion and enthusiasm. Ultimately, uh, what I'm looking for is people who uh, um, are really uh, customer advocates and they, they think always uh, from, from the customer point of view. They make decisions upon data, not just on, on gut feel. I guess on the business analyst, we, we certainly have a, have a preference for BDD and, 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 and Gherkin, but on the other hand, we, we need people who can think from a product management, an MBA helps, but it's not essential. But again, we just need, we need smart people. We can't train smart, but in terms of some of those sort of course, uh, course skills, in terms of if they don't have BDD, and learn and a knowledge of agile because we we work in quite aggressive uh, two-week sprints all helps